really excited to be packing up for a few days. I have a short visit to New York. It's a little bit of work and a little bit of play, but I get a lot of packing questions, especially when it comes to my beloved e-bags. So I thought I would take you along on my packing journey this morning. The first thing I do is pull out this handy dandy garment rack. It folds flat under my bed when it's not in use, but when I go to pack or play in outfits, it works really well because I can see everything at a glance and how everything mix and matches and pairs within the wardrobe for the week. Then I very specifically pack outfits for exactly what we're doing. So I have Thursday day, Thursday night, Friday day, Friday night, Saturday, and traveling home. So I'm very specific about what we're doing and what I wanna bring so I don't overpack. And then I always throw in a white tee, a long sleeve tee, and a very neutral cardigan. The, those can mix and match over pretty much any outfit that I have. I also make sure that any jacket that I bring can work with many outfits. Next up is the shoes, and I curate those fairly carefully so that I'm not, again, overpacking. I don't want to have duplicates, no need to have two pairs of sneakers, so I will pare them down to make sure that I have just what I need and can mix and match. Okay, next up is handbags. Since I am traveling, I like a hands-free crossbody for day, so I will choose between one of these and then one clutch for evening that kind of matches everything I'm doing, and then I will have a good size tote for my carry-on. The final step for each outfit is jewelry, earrings, necklaces, that sort of thing. And I can be pretty liberal with this because it doesn't take up a lot of room in my suitcase, but at the same time, I don't wanna just dump my entire jewelry drawer into a bag. So I kind of will plot out what I think would go with each outfit. Okay, moving on to undergarments, one of the most important steps actually. I will look at each outfit individually and make sure it doesn't require something special like a thong or a strapless bra because the last thing you want is to not be able to wear something when you get there because you don't have the right undergarment. Okay, now that we have all of our outfits planned, everything laid out, all of our toiletries, curling iron, undies, the whole thing, it's time to get it in the bag and that's where these little beauties come into play. So let's get it all in the suitcase. We've got all the clothes the shoes, pajamas, undies, toiletries, hair tools. We're gonna pack it all up in these little bags and put it in this suitcase. Okay, and there it all is. So I have a huge assortment of these bags because my whole family uses them when we travel, so I just kind of mix and match. But what I have here is tops and jackets in one, shoes, bottoms and pants, the trick to getting the most out of these bags is folding your clothes so that they fit the dimension of each bag exactly. Because you don't want your clothes sliding around within the bag because that's what, how they get wrinkled. So you fold them so they fit without extra space and then everything stays tidy. Some people like to roll, some people fold. It really doesn't matter with these bags. I prefer to fold so that I can quickly, when I get somewhere, you know, go through and find what I'm looking for within the stack. You can also pile things up within the bag really high because they will compact, almost um, compress. The air will come out of the mesh and you can fit so much more even than I have in there. Um, over here we have toiletry bags, hair utensils, and normally I will put my jewelry and accessories case, but since it's such a short trip, I just put earrings in one little bag and necklaces in another. And then I'm actually gonna pack them within the clutch so that I can make the most out of each item that I'm bringing. Once you've got all the e-bags packed and zipped closed, you just start placing them in your bag like building blocks. Just filling in all the nooks and crannies and turning them in different directions until you make the most of your suitcase. It really creates so much more space. And that's it, all packed and ready to go. When I get to the other end, I will either unpack everything depending on what's going on, but usually I just leave it all in the e-bags and just unzip and grab what I need out of each one and just keep it all in my suitcase. That way when it's time to come home, I'm already packed. I hope this video has been helpful and you got some new tips on packing and e-bags and all the good stuff. Now granted, this was a short trip, so it was pretty easy to pack, but I do the same method for long trips, short trips, um, different weather, you name it, it's the same routine.